Fitness.com over here with undefeated welterweight Brooklyn, New York, Julian Sosa. Scheduled to fight April 22nd, Barclay Center. Why don't you let all the fans know a little bit about your amateur background and about your professional career so far? Yes, uh, as far as amateurs, um, I did compete in a few national tournaments, but it was uh, more tri-state regional area I was competing in. Uh, I had about um, I had a record of 87 and 13, I believe. Um, and I stopped. My last fight was at 19 years old. Um, and then that's when we decided to turn professional. And then from there, every, everything, uh, as far as, as far as, uh, in my opinion, you know, as far as my style, um, composure in the ring, my ring presence, everything went up. I felt like this was a good decision uh, for myself. And now we're seven and zero. I recently won the 2016 Prospect of the Year. Um, I'm, I'm being, I'm humbled by getting all these big cards at this type of caliber, this stage. I love, I love it. I love every single moment of it. I'm humbled by it, and all I can do is uh, just keep performing well and keep going up the ladder. Yeah, the first time I seen you, bro, was over in Coney Island on the Errol Spence on the yeah. card, and I was sitting, you know, ringside, and you know, all your people were out there yelling you to box and box, but you were brawling. You just like to go in there and brawl, right? I mean, yeah. is it hard to resist sometimes in the heat of the action? Um. You can say, yeah, sometimes in the, the heat and the action it is, you know, I I could have, um, in my opinion, I could have boxed the whole, I could have made it easy, but um, it was just the heat of the moment. Um, we were getting a few exchanges, he got, you know, a few hits off me, it was uh, just making me want to react off of that, um, but I'm just happy, I believe I looked really good that night too, and um, and Coney, and um, we got the win, and that's what, that's what matters. For sure. Now, you uh, train out of Brooklyn, yes. Atlas Cops and Kids, right? Yeah, no. Uh, in Flatbush, yeah. Now you got a lot of good young fighters fighting out there. Why don't you let all the fans know some of the people in your crew? Yeah, well, as far as uh, the people that I train with, we have myself, um, also Jonathan Maravilla. He's right here. He's uh, he's going to be fighting that night, too. There's Jonathan. Jonathan Alonso. Um, he's also undefeated. We have uh, a prospect that just came into the professionals, uh, Richardson Hitchens. He came from the um, Olympic Games and uh, Rio. Um, we also have another one, uh, Christopher B. Hop Cover. He's also undefeated. Um, we also have one, Earl Newman Jr. He's also undefeated. Uh, just a lot, a lot of good names coming out of our all, right all you know, all young, all yep. promising careers. So Atlas cops and kids they're coming up right now right now do you feel like a lot of pressure because again we come up to their fights and you know all you people are out there there's a lot of noise is there a lot of pressure in there for a young fighter um in my from my perspective it isn't because um as long as I can remember, it's always been a big crowd, even in amateurs. Um, so it's just something I got used to. But the only thing that gets to me is uh, knowing um, just for myself. Like, I feel like I have to improve every fight. I have to um, get to a certain point from each fight where I could just keep going up the ladder. Mm -hmm. So it's just more of an inner inner pressure that I put on myself. Uh, so to just to just to keep improving. But as far as the crowd, the presence from the crowd, the vibes, I never really get to. I, I never let it get to me. And, and who are some of the fighters that you look up to? You fight in welterweight division. Are there some guys in welterweight right now that you look up to? Uh, some role models that you have in boxing, or maybe some guys you were watching coming up, maybe when you were a kid, that left an impression on you. Yes. Yeah, so as far as um. In general, as far as uh, back then in boxing, present, um, I always looked up to uh, Pernell Whitaker. Always looked up to. Um, now he was a defensive fighter yeah, now, yeah. right? He barely got touched in the ring, right? Yeah. Okay. I always studying just yep. little moves and all that. Um, you could also. I always also looked up to Salvador Sanchez. Yeah. Oh. Great, great, For the great. real, right? Um, we have Mexican heritage, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He was great, man. Uh, I also look up to um, just two more fighters. I'm sure. a Mayweather with the fans. I always look every of course. fight. I always, always watch so, uh, him. And uh, just for the final one, he's pretty lovely. You can say uh, Vasily Nomachenko. I always watch him too. Uh, it's nice in the ring, right? Very technical, very defensive. All that. For real. Now, uh, why don't you let all the fans where they can find you on social media and hit you up, learn learn a, a little bit more about you? Yes. Um, as far as uh, social media sources, I only have. Um, I'm going to make more, but it's only Instagram right now. It's okay. Called, um, Sunset's own. So it's S U N S E T S O W N. Julian Sosa, keep your eyes out for me. I appreciate your time, my friend. Thank you. Thank you.